How's everyone doing? Welcome back. Series 18 is here. I promise you, you'll be a lot happier with the 26 cars available in this festival playlist than you were probably with Series 17. Keep in mind, I will be covering the rarest of these cars in separate videos where I'm going to go into full detail about the history of the cars and why they are so expensive. Also, at the end of this video, I'll be showing you the three cars that are available of these 26 that will sell for 20 million credits if you are able to sell for that. We're going to start out with the series bonuses, which are the MC12 Forza Edition and the Rimac Concept 2. The MC12 Forza Edition can be found at the auction house for anywhere between 5 and 8 million. This is definitely not the only way to get the car, but if you can get 50% for the series, it's a very easy way to get one for free. The Rimac has been selling for 10 million like hotcakes at the auction house. I guarantee not many people are going to get 80% for this series because not everyone cares to play the festival playlist. People are lazy as hell. I see it in the comment section all the time. Most people are probably just going to try and snipe one of these from the auction house, so keep that in mind. But for the summer season, the Hot Wheels Ford Mustang, like we talked about in a recent video, is the 50% completion reward. Then we have the Ferrari 166mm, which is an extremely expensive auto show car 6.5 million credits if you can get it for free here that is the best way to do it or if you have one already you can sell it and make credits at the auction house the summer trial is how you'll be able to get your hands on another rare car that i've talked about recently the mc12 corsa it is worth 2.7 million credits at the auction house and it's a very good car that you want to get in forza horizon 4 Moving over to seasonal playground games, the TVR Tucson, very cheap at the auction house, only about 200,000 credits. Then we also have the VW GRC Beetle, which is not at the auto show, very cheap, about 100,000 credits. The Chevy Chevelle, the 1967, it will auction for about a million credits. And then finally, the brand new car in summer season is the Hummer Open Top, never before seen in Forza Horizon 4. Moving over to Autumn, the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, probably the most desirable car in Series 18. Everyone is going to be super excited to get that. In the Autumn Trial, a 10 million credit auto show car, the Auto Union Type D is available. I actually personally don't own this thing, and it's definitely a good way to make credits. Another expensive one in Autumn Games, the Mercedes-Benz 280 SL. There's plenty of these at the auction house now, which previously there really weren't, but the car will sell for over 10 million credits and can even make up towards 20 million. The 2016 Aventador is returning. This car is in wheel spins, and you can also find it at the auction house for about 4 million credits, another great way to make some money. The Lamborghini Veneno is a 4.5 million credit auto show car that you can get for free in autumn. On to winter, another brand new car, the Emery 356C, and then we also have the Pontiac GTO, the 1965, which will auction for about 1.5 million credits. The Winter Trial, you can get the Porsche 718, which auctions for only about 550,000. Again, it's still a great way to make credits if you already had any of these cars. Then in the Playground Games for Winter, you can get the Porsche 914.6, get you about 1.1 million at the auction house. A very expensive Mercedes-Benz that is found at the auto show for 8 million credits. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR will be available during a winter seasonal event. And then this is probably one of the top 5 rarest cars in Series 18, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, not the pre-order. This was originally a Forza Thon Shop car. It'll go for a good 2.2 million credits at the auction house. In the final season of spring, we will be able to get the Cadillac Escalade. Believe it or not, this thing auctions for 6 million credits, which I found to be incredibly crazy. But it is legit. You saw it right here. The spring trial, we can get the Lycan Hypersport. This car is available at the auto show, but it is 3.4 million credits. The spring playground games, we can get the mini convertible. Believe it or not, this is an extremely rare car. It'll go for 2 million easy at the auction house. One of the biggest ones has to be the Hoonicorn V2. This was the first rare car that I covered in my brand new series that I started to do on my channel. It will go for 16 million credits. And funny it's coming back right after I make that video in series 18, the final season in spring. 
We also have the brand new Toyota Trueno, which is unlockable doing Is That a Supra? Part of the spring seasonal events, and then finally another super rare car, the Maserati Ghibli, which will auction for about 1 million credits. So those are all 26 cars for Series 18. As promised, I wanted to show you the list of all the cars I sold when I found out that they were going to be returning. Now, a lot of these you're still going to be able to sell. Obviously, you cannot sell for 20 million unless you have 50,000 combined likes, downloads, and uses when it comes to tuning or painting. Now, the top three that you can still sell for 20 million if you have the capability are the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the Maserati Ghibli S, and then also the Mini John Cooper Works Convertible. Those three cars are super rare, and although they're in the festival playlist for Series 18, you still rarely see them at the auction house. If you do, you'll see them for about one or two million. It's a steal and a great way to make credits right now in Forza Horizon 4. But these are all the cars that are coming back in Series 18. Obviously, I only want one of them, so I sold off any extras that I had, but there are a lot of cars that you can sell, a lot of cars that you can make money on, and you're seeing a pretty good list of them all right here. There may be one or two that are missing that I either didn't have or that I just didn't want to sell, but most of them are listed here. Aside from the Nissan Fair Lady, that was a Forzathon shop car, so I just wanted to get rid of my extra ones since I don't need two of those. But that is going to wrap it up for the Series 18 Festival playlist, all the cars, where you'll find them, how expensive they are, how rare they are. Like I mentioned, I will be making another video covering the rarest and the most expensive of these individually so we can really focus on them and talk about their history and why they are still so rare. But I really hope that everyone found this video to be helpful or useful in one way or another. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. I'll talk to you all again very soon.